uphill and stuff. Like it's not really hurting as much as like the initial impact and everything. So I've been recovering. Yeah, I know obviously this is difficult, but let's let's go to the first to the injury. Let's talk about um, what happened Sunday night. Um, the moment it happened, can you tell us tell us what you remember happening, and then just just kind of walk us through what what happened on Sunday. Let's start with that. Well, I remember I was uh, trying to go for a rebound, trying to go for the ball, and then I was, like, going, and then next thing you know, I just kind of fell. And once I fell, like, I kind of couldn't move. I couldn't really get up and everything. So I was just kind of laying there. And then the ref came to me, and then some of uh, our training and coaches came, and then I was just kind of, like, in a little bit of a shock. So... Was it a painful situation or just you couldn't move and couldn't kind of figure out what was going on? It was kind of, it wasn't really painful. It was just kind of like, I just kind of went numb and stuff. And it was just like something that just, just kind of shook me a little bit. Do, do you remember um, when they when they did take you off the court, you got a standing ovation. Do, do you remember any of that? Coaches coming to you while you're on the court or the fans cheering as you were going off? Yeah, I remember all of that. I didn't lose consciousness, consciousness at uh, any point. So I remember everything that happened. Kevin, how long did it take before you could start moving again? And it took about 10, 12 minutes. Once uh, I was on the stretcher, I started moving. And then once they took me outside, I was able to like move everything in there and stuff. So. Tim, did you ever experience anything like that? Any, any kind of smaller episodes where you didn't feel or you, or you have pain? Yeah, I've had a couple. They weren't this extreme, but I've had a couple where I've gotten hit and I couldn't move for like maybe 10 or 15 seconds, but after that, I was totally fine. So this is something, even though with those past experiences, it wasn't ever diagnosed, obviously. No. Um, were those incidents basketball related as well? Uh, yes. So Devin, what was your reaction then when they finally sat you down and the doctors recommended that you probably shouldn't, it's in your best interest not to play anymore? It was it was really hard. I was thinking about it a lot. Um, I kind of teared up and everything, but I realized that I'm still blessed to be able to still walk because it was a chance that I would have been paralyzed. I would have been a, a quadriplegic or a paraplegic. So I'm, I was still like blessed, even though like, I wasn't able to, to. I got that recommendation not to play basketball. I was still pretty happy that i pretty much make a full recovery, especially if I get the surgery. Were you in any way preparing for that as a possibility, or did it not really even cross your mind that, that the doctor might tell you you're done? I was prepared for it. I was hoping that it didn't come, but I knew that it, it might have been one of the options and everything, so I was kind of prepared for it. Was that just yesterday, just to make sure that was just yesterday you got that news? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty impressive to realize that you're lucky it could have been worse when, you know, a lot of people would say, well, it was me. Have you had time now to look forward and think about you know, what's next and all the opportunity that's in front of you? Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've had a little, like, a little bit of time to think about and everything. Uh, I'll be working with Coach. Uh, I'm grateful that he's <laughs> kind of taking me under his wing, like let me look at everything that the coaches go through, let me still be highly involved with the team, doing a little bit of breakdown, doing the film, whatever I can to help. And everything, so it kind of like putting me in the right direction, and being able to focus on school. So yeah, I'm I've had a time to look at everything and look at my future. See, we always wanted to coach. Coach tired sweats. I'll let him wear sweats. He likes to, he's he likes his sweat game. Plus he's got a shoe game. So yeah, I mean, maybe I they'll write about your shoes instead of somebody else's. They <laughs> <laughs> always look forward to coaching anyway. Uh yeah. I do look forward to coaching. That's something that uh, I would highly consider doing in the future. So, so you sent out that tweet, you know, thanking everybody for the support, but just kind of, you know, could you talk a bit more about the, the reception, you know, people giving support from the basketball community at large? Oh, it, it's been really nice. Like, everybody's been reaching out to me. Everybody's been uh, sending me texts, calling me, uh, s sending me messages on Facebook, Twitter, all the social media. So I'm really grateful and I'm thankful for all those people. I'm sorry if I wasn't able to get to everybody. There's a lot of people, but it's like, it's really been a heartfelt moment for me receiving all the love from all the fans, all my families, all my friends, all the individuals who I don't know that still reached out to me. So 
I just wanted to say thank you to all of y'all who I haven't been able to reach out to, and I love each and every one of y'all. Was it surprising how much support you received? Yeah, it was. Devin, what was your, your reaction? first meeting with your teammates like, you know, when you talked about this with them? It was, um, it was kind of hard. Like, we, uh, we were kind of joking around a little bit just to try to not keep it as, like, sad or whatever. But it was it was kind of hard, like, just thinking about it, talking about it and everything. But we tried to, like, have a up, like, an uplifting type of vibe, vibe about it, so. I, I got to imagine, or did, were you able to watch any of the game last night or was it too hard? If, if not, just what did you think about the way that the team responded and the way that, you know, the little things like, writing your name on their shoes and stuff like that. Just what did you think about all of that? I um I was, like, keeping up with the updates of the scores and everything and uh, having my teammates tell me about what they did, how they wrote my shoes, how, wrote my number and my initials on their shoes. It was really, like, a really big moment for me, and it was just very, like, very overwhelming, like, seeing that. So it it really meant a lot to me. You yeah, forgot was, You forgot one thing. What did you forget? Uh, phone call? Oh, yeah, the phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Can't no, I, I called him after the game. Yeah, he on speakerphone so all of them could talk to him. Yeah, he <laughs> called me and uh, put me on speaker. That was that was the most amazing feeling, like just being <laughs> able to talk to my teammates and stuff, having them yelling at me after a win and everything. That was, that was really nice. I really appreciate that. That was <laughs> probably one of the biggest moments of the night. So. Yeah, how do you describe the love and support from your family? It's it's amazing, like it's it's unconditional. It's it's like really, again, like something that's really overwhelming. Like having all the support, having my parents being able to come out, having all my friends and family like being able to keep in touch with me, like touch bases with me, and so it's it's really been amazing. Yeah, amazing you thing. mentioned that you had episodes like this prior, but it was shorter in duration. Had you told anybody about these things? Um, I, I kind of, I hadn't really, like, discussed it, like, in, like, thoroughly with other people, but I've had mentioned it, but I didn't think it was anything that was just serious. I thought it was, oh, I just kind of got, like, a little bit of a tweak. It wasn't anything that's that big of a deal. Kind of treating it like maybe, like, a tweaked ankle or, like, maybe a little bit of a sprain, so I wasn't really too much, put too much thought into it. Um, it was like when I saw him, I was they were like really tearing up. They were scared. I was scared because I like, prior to the in or after injury, I had no idea what was gonna happen and everything. I stayed at the hospital overnight in cruises, so um, I didn't know what was gonna happen there. I didn't know what was gonna happen when I got back to Albuquerque. So being able to see them, it was it was something that really helped me, like, really uplifted me in that time. Well, I think the biggest thing, too, and I, I want to interject because I was in the meetings, um, and Cody did a great job because Cody stayed with him at Las Cruces, and he's been with him at the doctor's appointments. I think the biggest thing in our meeting yesterday um, was a glass half full, not half empty. Mm -hmm. And um, they're, they're a family of faith. Uh, Devin's got great faith, and I think it was a blessing to know that it wasn't worse. And I think it was a blessing that we all were in the room, we all were on the same page, uh, and we know what he's going to do with his life now, and I think that's been the biggest thing for him. And I, I think that's why he's been able to handle it. Uh, he's a mature kid. He redshirted here, but um, I think his faith, his belief, and his family um, are looking at it as a blessing, and they're going to go forward and make a lot of positive things out of it. Devin, you mentioned uh, surgery. Is that something you're considering, or what? What goes on with that? Are you still exploring options? Uh, we're kind of, I'm leaning towards it. We're kind of still exploring. We're going to get go to Dallas and get a second opinion from another surgeon just to see what he thinks about it. But, yeah, I'm, I've been kind of leaning towards getting surgery. There's a player on the football team that has a similar injury. Did you, did you link up with him and ask him about what he's gone through or anything like that? No, I haven't yet, but I've heard about what he's gone through, and I'll probably in the future link 
try to get his contact, maybe ask him about what happened, how he's doing with it, and how he feels about it. I mean, Coach has always described you as kind of the ultimate team player, whether it be redshirting or starting 30 games last year. Helping out with the program is, in a weird way, is this just another step as being all about the team? Um, well, is the team, like, I feel us as a family and – it's just I like I'm a part of this team. Like no matter what happens, like, I'm still gonna be a part of this team. And they're my brothers, and the coaches they're like my father's uncles. Like they're really a big part of me. And like after this happened, like just leaving them after all they've done for me, like that just wouldn't be ideal. So I want to do whatever I can to try to help the team be successful in any way possible. How about finishing your education? That's very important. That's uh, that's top on the priority list. I got to make sure I take advantage of this time that I'm off the court to make sure I stay on top of my studies, maybe even excel, like get higher GPAs and do whatever I can to. No, just tell him you don't have a choice. Yeah, I don't have a choice. <laughs> and just tell him. I told, I told his mom and dad when I recruited him, I said that he was going to graduate from college, but now he's going to be able to get two degrees. Um, so that's something that you got. We got to look forward to. But yes, he sir. doesn't really have a choice academically. <laughs> What's your major right now? What are you, do you know what you're going to do for graduate school yet? Or are you still uh, my major at this moment is uh, organizational communication with a minor in sociology, and I was looking into maybe uh, getting a graduate degree in the medical field. I'm still exploring what uh, part of the medical field I want to uh, pursue, but right now I'm looking towards the medical field. All right, so if you got a little bit different role now with this team, still your brothers, you gonna be able to yell at them in practice a little bit? Oh no doubt, I I gotta yell at them. That's just they ask the tough question though. Who are you gonna shoot the three point shot yeah. with, the team or us? Uh, <laughs> the team. I'll go with the team. You take up golf now to pass the time? I mean, you can swing a little bit. Uh, nah, I, He's gonna have enough time watching film and learning <laughs> how to do my side of it. He's not in studying so. I'll get him out there in the summer. We'll, we'll get out there and mess around a little bit. Mm -hmm.